Hi everyone, it's Marissa with Bumblebee Apothecary. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to show you how to make tallow balm. I do have another video on my channel on how to make tallow balm. It was one of the very first videos that I made when I started my YouTube channel and I wanted to do an updated version of that just to do one with better video quality as well as some more additional information. So let's jump in and I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to make tallow balm. I have lots of other resources, videos, blog posts and things where I talk about the amazing beneficial properties of 100% grass-fed beef tallow, especially when it's used on your skin as tallow balm, all the amazing nutrients that it provides. Just a really quick rundown. It has all kinds of fat-soluble vitamins that our skin needs to stay healthy. It has amazing anti-aging benefits, and it's incredible for healing all kinds of different skin ailments, whether that's eczema or acne or just dry or itchy skin, rashes of different types, diaper rash, sunburn, all kinds of stuff, it's amazing. There's nothing more pure and natural that you're gonna find that just absorbs right into your skin and is compatible with our skin cells and just works so beautifully as a moisturizer and healer. So enough talking about it, let's jump in and make some tallow balm. I'm gonna show you how to make two different types of tallow balm here, the solid version and the whipped version. The solid version is great if you just want some to keep on hand that's gonna last a really long time. It's gonna be the consistency of like a firmer butter at room temperature. The whipped is my personal favorite. It is soft and fluffy like whipped cream and it's really luxurious to apply. So let's start with the solid version first. So first you're gonna need some melted tallow, preferably from 100% grass-fed, grass-finished beef. I have another video which I'm gonna link below that shows you how to render tallow. I have actually two different videos on this, an older one that is just a quick, easy crock pot method, and then I have another one that's an updated tallow rendering video that shows you how to do some additional steps to purify it so that you don't get any of that beef smell and it's pure and white and odorless and it's just beautiful for whatever you wanna to use tallow for. That is what I'm using here. It's melted already. You can see what a nice light color it is with a yellow tint to it because again, it was from 100% grass-fed cows and that kind of shows you the nice nutrients that are in there when it has that golden color to it. Now to the tallow, you're going to want to add a liquid oil of some type. My favorite is either olive oil or jojoba oil. Either of those are really great for skin. I usually tend to go with olive oil just because it's a little bit more affordable and very readily available. So I have an organic extra virgin olive oil here. The purpose of adding that little bit of liquid oil is just to make the tallow balm a little bit softer at room temperature, which makes it more easily spreadable. If you were to try to use just straight tallow at room temperature as a skin balm, it would be too stiff to easily spread and work into your skin. So adding a small amount of the olive oil just helps that. Now the amount is going to be for every one cup of tallow, you're going to want to add one quarter cup of your liquid oil. You can choose another liquid oil if you like another one better, like sweet almond or something like that. So let's just start by combining these two. I'm going to put my one cup of melted tallow into this pitcher. And then to that, I'm going to add one quarter cup of my organic extra virgin olive oil. And then you just stir a little bit to make sure that they're well combined. Now you can either leave the tallow balm unscented, which is what I always like to do if I'm gonna be using it on babies or something where I just need it to be very, very pure. I don't wanna worry about anything irritating skin, but you can actually boost the properties of tallow balm by adding different essential oils. There's so many different possibilities. There's different ones that have anti-aging benefits themselves. So they're great for like a face cream. And there's some that are good for healing sunburns and diaper rashes and things like that. There's other blends and single oils that are great for healing eczema. So you can pick and choose based on what you're dealing with with your skin, or you can just go with what you like the smell of too. 
for this particular batch, I'm just gonna go with lavender. This has to be one of my top favorite essential oils. It smells so good and it has so many great benefits and it's gentle but still really effective for soothing skin and calming and all that kind of stuff. So I like to do a 1% dilution of essential oils when I'm making tallow balm. So I'm gonna go ahead and add 48 drops to my one cup here. And then I'm gonna give it a stir to make sure that those are well combined. And then all that's left is to just pour it into your storage container of choice. I like storing my skincare products, including tallow balm in glass. That way you don't have to worry about the essential oils or anything interfering with chemicals and plastic. So let's just pour that in. Now we just have to let that solidify and it will be ready to use. So that is the solid version. I'd also like to show you how to make the whipped version as well. So I'm gonna take the same exact thing, same amount of tallow with the olive oil added to it and essential oils, and I'm just gonna pour that into a large bowl. And then I'm just going to let this solidify. You can either let it do that at room temperature or you can put it in the refrigerator to speed that up a little bit. And once it's solidified, it'll be time to whip it into luxurious whipped tallow balm. So let me let this solidify and we'll be right back to whip it. Okay, now that it is solidified, we are ready to whip. I'm just gonna take my hand mixer. I like a hand mixer. You can also do it in a stand mixer, but I just feel like I have more control with a hand mixer to get all of it evenly whipped. So let's start whipping. I like to go for about a minute or two and then stop and scrape down the sides of the bowl. And then after I scrape them down, whip again for another minute or two and then that's usually good. Okay, that looks great. You can see how nice and light and fluffy it is. And now all we have to do is put it into our storage container. Again, using glass. And there it is in its whipped version, which like I said, is my personal favorite. It's so light and fluffy and fun to use. Okay, I hope that you enjoyed seeing how to make tallow balm and I hope that you give it a try and try these amazing skin benefits for yourself. If you do, let me know what you think of it. Leave me a comment below. Also, if you have any questions about anything in the process of making the tallow balm or rendering tallow or anything like that, I'm happy to answer any questions. I try to reply to all of the comments that I get. I'm gonna put links to more resources below. I have other videos on tallow and blog posts. I'm gonna have a link to the full written article on my blog and a printable recipe card if you wanna grab that. I'm also gonna link some resources for the equipment that I use and places to buy tallow and things like that below. If you still wanna try tallow balm, but you're not ready to make it yourself right this moment, I also offer it in my Etsy shop and I'll put a link to that below. I have the solid and the whipped version, lots of different essential oil choices and three different sizes to choose from. Put a link below where you can check out my shop. I also wanted to mention that I have a free ebook. It's a DIY home remedy recipes ebook. It shows how to make three different herbal salve recipes and elderberry syrup. So you can stock your home medicine cabinet with some really powerful natural remedies. It's a completely free ebook and I'll put a link below where you can grab that if you're interested also. All right, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with anybody who you think might enjoy it. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I make new videos every week on traditional health wisdom and living a sustainable DIY lifestyle. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.